All right, I'm going to mark up my wall here. I've already taped it, but uh, I'm going to do it 100 inches high, and there's a reason for that. It's going to make sense. Trust me on this. It's going to make sense. This is the lowest produced science special ever in the history of mankind, but it's 100 inches high. So let me put this sign up here so that everybody knows. It's 100 inches Hi, and the atmosphere is broken down in this hundred inches into parts, parts per hundred. And the top part is red, that's oxygen. Oxygen is 21 parts, that's 21 inches, okay? And then the bottom part is nitrogen. This is the vast majority of the atmosphere. And nitrogen is 78 inches, that's a little bit more than six feet and the top is 100 inches that's eight foot four i've got about a half inch vertical leap and then in the middle here we have one inch and that represents other gases in the atmosphere one inch that's it so in that one inch there is mostly argon 93 percent of that is argon 93 percent and there's also methane and helium and xenon and radon and then there's carbon dioxide so let's measure the carbon dioxide we'll take one inch on this ruler and one inch carbon dioxide accounts for four one hundredths of an inch well this ruler doesn't even go down to four one hundredths of an inch it goes down to a sixteenth four one hundredths would be a twenty-fifth so it's about half a hash mark on this and in fact, it would be the equivalent of about the size of the end of a Sharpie. That's four one hundredths of an inch of carbon dioxide. And four one hundredths of an inch. Now, there's always been carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. There used to be three one hundredths of an inch. Now there's four one hundredths of an inch. So we've added one one hundredth of an inch of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. What is one one hundredth of an inch? One one hundredth of an inch is about three human hairs thickness. It's ten thousandths of an inch. Three human hairs on this entire wall. It's hard for me to get really excited about the imminent threat from carbon dioxide when it's only three human hairs. I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air.